Every day, Americans die while waiting for the Food and Drug Administration to approve life-saving medicines. It takes 12 years and, on average, close to $3 billion to bring a drug from lab to patient. Much of the time and cost goes towards proving efficacy of the FDA's drug certification process. This means that a drug is deemed safe by the FDA, but it is not yet known to be effective. The question at hand, is there a better alternative for bringing drugs to the people than the 12-year, $3 billion process warranted by the FDA? Yes. Free to Choose Medicine is the superior approach because it helps bring potentially life-saving treatments to patients sooner at a lower cost. Free to Choose Medicine is a parallel track system where patients can make informed decisions with their doctors to try medicines currently seeking final FDA approval. First, let's take a look at the FDA's drug certification process. Phase 1 tests for safety. Phase 2 mandates clinical trials to determine initial efficacy and Phase 3 includes extensive trials to determine if the FDA statistical milestones were met. Much of the 12-year, $3 billion process to bring a drug from lab to patient is taken up in the efficacy phases. Free to Choose Medicine creates a parallel track to the clinical trials and efficacy testing phases. A similar parallel track for expedited access to not yet approved AIDS drugs in the early 1990s saved as many as 12,000 lives. Any medicine approved to participate on the Free to Choose Medicine parallel track must have passed FDA Phase 1 safety trials and at least one Phase 2 efficacy trial. After this, a drug manufacturer can make their drug available to patients who desire access. This revolutionary system is built around the Trade-Off Evaluation Drug Database, or TED. What is TED? TED is a revolutionary component of Free to Choose Medicine that makes detailed data available on all drugs going through the Free to Choose Medicine parallel track. Here's how it works. Patients accessing medications on the Free to Choose Medicine track would have their personal details like age, genetic data and biomarkers, health history, etc., as well as their real-time patient experience with the medication recorded into the TED database. This information would be made available to drug sponsors, researchers, physicians, and patients with significant privacy protections in place. TED allows patients with guidance from their doctors to make informed decisions about the use of not yet FDA approved drugs that could offer better treatment results, possibly life-saving results that are not currently accessible with the status quo FDA system. TED won't just benefit doctors and patients, it will benefit the FDA too. And here's how. The FDA will be granted a new tool for drug approval called observational approval. By looking at TED, the FDA can determine which drugs offer benefits that far outweigh the negatives and approve them through observational approval. This safely gets around the status quo clinical trials process that costs billions. Patients with debilitating diseases would get access to better drugs faster and at a lower cost through observational approval. TED will benefit drug manufacturers too. Manufacturers will be permitted to charge for drugs offered through the Free to Choose Medicine parallel track. This opens up the door for companies to quickly prove if their new drug outperforms FDA-approved drugs. Again, it costs approximately $3 billion to bring a drug from lab to patient, a cost many companies simply cannot meet. By charging customers for a drug in its infancy, manufacturers, especially small companies, will have a source of funds to pay for development. Free to Choose Medicine and TED do not replace the current FDA regulatory system, but rather offer a competitive alternative for those patients who voluntarily choose to gain early access based on up-to-date TED data for treatment results and especially treatment results for subsets of patients based on their genetic data and biomarkers. Competition promotes fast-paced innovation and ultimately benefits consumers, which in this case is patients. Free to Choose Medicine and TED are about more than bringing medicines to patients faster. They're about freedom. You deserve the freedom to try and take a medicine that you and your doctor think can greatly improve your quality of life. You deserve the freedom to try to save your own life. If you don't have that ability, you are not truly free. What can you do to get the newest life-saving drugs faster and at a lower cost? First. Learn more about Free to Choose Medicine by visiting freetoosemedicine.com or calling the Heartland Institute at 312-377-4000 and asking for a free information package. Second, talk to your friends and relatives about this revolutionary new idea. Invite them to learn more about it too. Third, 
Contact your elected representatives in Washington and urge them to support Free to Choose Medicine. Do it today.